Last year, I built my dream monster truck. We took it to the first show, came third in racing, second in freestyle. This year, same show again, but I want to try and do better. So, I need to get some practice in. Trouble is, I've got nowhere really to run it, and these things cost a fortune to run, so you can't really afford just to run them around all over the place everywhere just to practice. So, I'm gonna try and build myself a simulator. A lot of the pro monster truck drivers actually use simulators to practice, so that's the goal of this video. So you can get this simulator called Beam NG Drive, which is super realistic, and then someone made a monster truck plugin that's got all the trucks on there and all the monster truck tracks. And this is what I've got installed on my computer, and they've also made a game over monster truck, just like the real one. Now I can play it on like an Xbox controller, but you're not really getting the full simulation training that way. So let's get into the real one and I will show you. So here we've got front steering, here we have a toggle switch for rear steering, and here we've got the shifter. So we've got first, second, neutral and reverse. And down there we've got the pedals. So we need something similar for the simulator. So we've got a Logitech steering wheel and pedals. Not the most realistic looking, but we can do that later. I just want to make sure it all works first. For the shifter, I've bought another monster truck shifter so this is the exact same one that we got in the monster truck and then here I've got these ball valve switches basically it's just a button with a roller on there and then on the shifter it's got a roller there so if we get this switch and mount it there that should hopefully know what gear we're in we've got three switches one for first second and reverse next up I've got a rear steer handle and rear steer switch the next problem we've got to figure out a way of attaching this to the computer so I've got an idea. So on the simulator, you can program what key on the keyboard does what function. So you could have rear steer as say J and K, and then you could have your gear shifting as like one, two, three, four, or whatever you want. So my idea is, is to find the two prongs on here, which does it makes it go left, and then have a wire coming out of that into the keyboard, so that when this is plugged into the computer, the computer thinks if we're steering left, we hit in left on the keyboard, and hopefully it's gonna work. And the same with the gears. So I've got this voltmeter here, and if we put it into this position here, when it makes a circuit, it should make a noise. So if we put this onto this ball switch, once we press, it should make a noise. Yes. So now we've got to figure out which two terminals are for left and which two terminals are for right. I'm going to hold the steer switch over one way and then hopefully one of these is going to make it beep. Hmm, nothing. It must be a combo that makes it beep. It has to be a combo that makes it beep. Ah. Right, so that beeps if I let go. Yes. So these two here are for one way. So now for the other way. That one and that one is for the other way. So now, let's get this keyboard cracked open, see if we can hot wire it. Guys, I've got a feeling this is going to be really easy. What am I supposed to do with that? I was kind of hoping that each button was going to be like a little switch and I could just solder to it, but it doesn't look like we can solder to it at all. Right, got another one here, let's have a look in that one. That really does not look workable with. Each button's got multiple wires going to it. Each one's going to all these other places. I just don't know what we can do with it. We could have a look inside a mouse, but there's only two buttons. So, over on Amazon, they've got these game controllers. So, let's order that up. So, while we're waiting for that to turn up, I can now go ahead and make up some sort of a contraption so I can mount the rear steering and also the shifter. I want to make some sort of a clamp, so I can just clamp it onto the table the same way that the steering wheel's clamped on, and then we can just fit it onto whatever table. So, back in the real monster truck, I've got to try and get all this stuff in exactly the same place. Uh, I'm just going to take a few measurements so here we have my very professional diagram so now I've got to try and mount all this in exactly the same place so that is about perfect positioning now we just got to find a way of mounting it
day. Man, what a waste of packaging all that just for this. So this looks like it could be promising. If you have a look at the buttons, they all have two terminals that hopefully we can solder to. So I'm gonna try and solder a wire onto the circuit board. Oh, it fell off. So now I just need to put a couple of terminals on the end and then we can wire it to the switch and see if it works. So I've got the wheel all plugged into the computer and it works. Look, we've got steering, pedals work. So now let's plug this in and see if we can get the rear steering to work. Oh, so it's come up with this, looking good. Now if we hit this switch, that should come up on there if we've done it right. Oh, boom, check it out, it's worked. Check this out. This is gonna work, yes! So plan is to get it all working on here and then once it's all working, I wanna move it over here and have it on this big TV that we got on the wall. I can put the switch in here, the shifter down here and everything is in exactly the same place as on the real monster truck. So back in the real monster truck, we accelerate with the right foot and then we brake with the left foot. So back on the simulator, this is the accelerator, this is the brakes for American's gas and brake. However, because we're left foot braking, I've moved over my brake pedal to this pedal here, which is really supposed to be the clutch. But it makes the driving position a lot more realistic to the real monster truck. So to set it up, we go into controls and vehicle. And over where it says brake, you just simply hit on the little plus button there. It comes up with detecting a new button or something like that. Hit the brake, that is it detected. So I've just got a message from a viewer, Ian Haynes, and he put me onto this. So this is called a button box interface and it's pretty much something like this where it's got 32 buttons that you can have and all you do is shove your wires in the hole and you haven't got a solder. Now the gamepad does work perfectly but this is going to be a much nicer setup and if you want to later on add more switches and stuff we don't have to every time get out the soldering iron. Boom! And just like that, it's arrived! So instead of soldering, all you do is push this little button, get your wire, shove it in the hole, let go of the button, and we're in there. So now let's plug the other end into the computer and screw it onto the switch. So now we go back on controls, vehicle specific, and then we have independent rear steering left. So we click on add, detecting new bind. So we move this whichever way we want it to go for that way. Apply, same again for the right, apply. And now look, we hit the switch and the rear steering works. Now some people like it that when you hit the switch left, the truck goes left. Other people like it the opposite way around. So when you hit left, the back end of the truck goes left. So it's a bit more like a drift button. So everyone's different. So what you want to do is just set it up. See if you like it. If it feels all a bit backwards, just turn the switch around or change it in the program and just put it whichever way it feels comfortable for you. All right, let's see if it works. All right, so temporarily I've put the gears here. So we can put it into first, second, Guys, that is really realistic. Right, we need in car view. In cab, in cab. Right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> so temporarily I've put reverse here. We're gonna wire this all into the shifter once we get properly going. But guys, this is gonna be so good for learning how to drive. This feels exactly the same as a real one. Oh, game over. So if we have a look at all the vehicles that are in here, when you go to Beam Monsters, you get the CRD plug-in. That's what's got most of the monster trucks on there. We've got all the big names on there. Bigfoot, Bad Company, Bad Habit, more Bigfoots. And look, check it out, there's my one. We've got the Grave Diggers, even Mikey's Overkill Evolution from V2 Vids. So we're gonna have a go on my game over truck a little bit later, also try some of the other monster trucks. We're gonna get it fitted onto the big screen in this video. Now I've had a few people say to me I should get
it a direct drive steering wheel because it's a lot more realistic. However, a real monster truck has no force feedback and there's no self-centering on the front steering. Wherever you leave the wheel, it kind of stays there because it's full hydraulic, there's no mechanical link. So the steering on this is pretty much the same as driving a forklift. Wherever you leave that steering, it's gonna stay there. You've got to center it up yourself. So I've gone into my controls, vehicle, you go down to steering axis, which is your wheel. When you click on there, you go all the way down to force feedback and I'll just turn all of it down, all the way down to zero. So now look, wherever I leave that wheel, it stays. See, so on a normal car, if you was to steer like this and go forward, it would automatically go back into center. On the monster truck, it doesn't. And it does actually take quite a lot of getting used to is to know where to put that wheel back into the middle. So it just takes a little bit of practice and that is what the simulator is perfect for. Just get another backflip in. Nailed it! So next we've got to get the shifter to work. So we need to get these ball switches there, there and there. So welding to this is going to be a bit of a pig. So we're just going to take it off, bit of flat bar, hopefully it's going to work. Uh, I reckon we get a couple of bits of this, put that in there like that. So next, we've got to tap a thread into it. <laughs> Not like that. I've used the right bloody... I've used the wrong drill bit, haven't I? Five millimetre for M6. Right, try again. That's better. It sort of half goes in the hole now. So now hopefully we get our screw and yes. So I've just made these little nut things here. We get the sensor, we screw it in, and then we have to try and weld that onto there. So we go, got them all fitted, didn't bother filming it because it was so fiddly. Now with this gadget, we can see if each gear works. So we've got assistant Tom in the house. Right, put it in reverse, Tom. Reverse. Yeah, it's working. A second, yeah. So, second. Yep, and take it out a second. Put it in first. First. All right, and now we've got first here. Take yeah. it out first. Yes! yes right. <laughs> <laughs> it all works! All right, let's hook it back up to the sim. So we've got all the wires hanging out of it now. Next, we've got to get these wires and just wire them up into this box here, and then it should work. So now we go into the computer. Options, controls, vehicle, and then we've got the gears down here. Hit first gear. And then we move that into first. So we have a problem. This simulator will not let you select first, second, and whatever gears in an automatic vehicle, which this is. It only lets you go up and down gears. So reverse gear works. For some reason, if you set up sixth gear as this switch here, where first is, it puts it into first on there. So sixth gear on here puts this into first, but we cannot get second to work. Every time we put this into second, it doesn't work at all. It just goes, in, well, it works, but it goes into drive. So my buddy Ash, who's an expert with these simulators, he's actually the guy that done the graphics on the real monster truck. He's an expert at setting up simulators. He's given me this little software here. So I don't really know how it all works. This is like a macro or something. And I have absolutely no idea what you're supposed to do with it. Uh, Stamp! There he is. What's going on? Where have you been hiding? Oh, under the rock, mate. Stem's been all loved up. So here's the instructions that Ash has given her. Stem is a lot more computer literate than what I am, so Stem's gonna try and make it work. Guys, we got it to work. So now look, if we go to first, first gear on there, second gear, and we got neutral and reverse. So if you guys want to make it work on yours, you need this little program here, X better, download it somewhere, God knows where, and then here, are the instructions of how to get it to work on yours. So now that we've got it working on this computer, we have to see if we can get it working on the big screen. So I've got this monitor plugged into my PC, which is under there. So next we've got to get all these wheels and switches and everything else, move it over there. But for that, we need some extension leads. So I've got these ones here, USB extension leads. They are really long, so I don't know if they're gonna work over that length. But what I really wanna do, I wanna run it all the way around the outside of the room, through there, through there, through there, so it comes out there, so we haven't got all wires everywhere. So this one here is the wheel, so we plug that into the extension lead and then the extension lead into the pc yes it's working we are getting there so all we got to do now is hook up this to the computer with the extension lead ready 
There we go, all wired up. Steering works. Rear steer works. Shifter works. We've got my truck on there. So let's take it for a rip. All right, so I've got to learn a little bit. I've been playing this on the old Xbox controller. I'm doing it on the big screen. With the real controls, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. So just like on a real monster truck, there's no centering on the front steering, so you've got to center it yourself. Rear steer's got self-center, so that's all right. Man, look at those graphics. Ash really done an epic job of getting those graphics made. one that we're going to be practicing on because this is the realistic way. It's harder to drive like this, but it's realistic. So this is how I've got to learn to drive like this. We've got to win that freestyle in August, so I'll be practicing on this. With that no centering on the front steering, that is taking some getting used to. Just like a forklift, there is no self-centering. But the more I play on this, the better I'm gonna get. Oh, too much. Oh, have we overcooked it? No, we've got it. This is so realistic, guys. So just like on a real monster truck, and also like on an RC car, is when you, oh, oh. When you jump it, to get the nose down, you hit the brakes. To get the nose up, you accelerate. So we've got to get the nose down, brakes. So we can control the angle of the truck in the air. And just like on the real one, we have to try and match the speed of the wheels and tires to the ground. So that's why you hear monster truck drivers, they blip it in the air to try and match the speed. But otherwise, if there's a big difference, that's when you can start blowing out transmissions and drive shafts and stuff. Right, let's try a backflip. Try a backflip. Oh, we haven't got it very straight. Can we get into a moonwalk. Oh, nearly. Oh, into a wheelie. Something's not right. I think I've broken something. Right, let's go to a different view. Ah, I've got a flat tyre coming on with the front look. Front tyre's going down. Let's find some different cars. So I reckon we should go with the most famous one, the Grave Digger. There we go, Grave Digger. Here we go! Each truck on here handles a little bit differently. Ah. So each time we pick a different truck, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it again. Let's go in cab. Try my keys overkill evolution. Oh my god, what's going on with his light? I thought he turned that off. Right, 
try another backflip. I got into a moonwalk. Like, this is what V2 Vids does, and this is what I want to learn on the real monster truck. Can we save it? Can we save it? Come on! Ah. So Mikey doesn't run a rocker in the front, so trying to do saves makes it a bit harder. So I'm going to keep practicing on this, and then maybe I'll give you an update in a few weeks when I've gotten better to show you what I've done. I've got a few bits to do on the monster truck actually before the next show, so I might actually make a video of that and then give you an update on my driving skills too. There is a completely new front steering system that Monster Jam use now, so I want to get the same system on this. Apparently it makes the steering more consistent, it makes it a little bit easier to turn and gives the steering more power. I tried to build the world's best monster truck, so we've got to have all the best parts. There's a small leak coming out of this rear steering cylinder. At last show, it was dripping a little bit, but now we've got a faster rear steer pump. It's made it even worse. So I've got some spare seals. I'm going to have to figure out how to take all this apart, change the seal, and then put it back together again. And I think I'm going to run double these bars here. I tried to straighten this one, and it's not really that straight. So I might take it over to a buddy's house that's got a press, stick it in the press and straighten it a bit more. But really, I want to run two on there. Anyway, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And smash the bell to stay notified of any future videos.